please be advised that this content is for mature audiences only. Welcome to Cracklin' Rosie True Crime. Today we begin a dive into the Nexium cult and the case of cult leader Keith Ranieri, aka Vanguard. We will add Nexium materials to our YouTube wall, such as archives and whatever interesting program materials we find during our dive. This information can be triggering and is intended for adults only. We start at ground level and hope you will join us in our studies. We hope to follow up our informational videos with live Q&As. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and sharing our videos. Let's get started. For those unfamiliar with this case, Nexium was a cult led by convicted racketeer and sex offender Keith Rainier. Nexium is also the name of the defunct MLM company that Rainier founded in 1998, which provided self-help seminars, but ultimately served as a front for criminal activity by Rainieri and close associates. Two docu-series that chronicle the events of this case told by participants slash victims are The Vow and Seduced, but we'll come back to those and dissect them on a future program. Based on my research so far, Keith Ranieri had a relatively normal childhood. We will be diving deeper into his childhood on a later video. Some of you may want to jump right to the juice, into the sex cult DOS and the branding, but I don't roll that way. We're going to go step by step and we're going to learn something in this mini-series. Thanks for your patience on that. I did, however, post a link to this great Times Union article dated 2012. It really goes into who Keith Ranieri really was. I'll give you a taste and share the first two paragraphs. Women who have had sex with Keith Ranieri say it was billed as a spiritual experience, a transfer of his godlike energy. One said Ranieri told her their union would make her see a blue light. Another recalled him explaining a threesome would cure the pain of childhood molestation, that she could then start to view sex as just sex. There's your taste, but let's jump back and learn a little bit more about Nexium, the company. The 2003 mission statement, which appeared on the website of Nexium when it was active. Nexium embodies a set of consistent and universal principles in which all humans can participate. These principles, apart from any mystical or religious notions, allow for life to persist and uphold a diversity of beliefs. By creating a new understanding, we can actualize our potential to live and work together and consequently bring human existence to a whole new level. Yet this cannot be done without first raising human awareness, fostering an ethical humanitarianism, and celebrating what it truly means to be human. And this is our mission. Nexium taught members that if they shared the most fragile parts of themselves with an audience, everyone in that audience could make sure they wouldn't fall back on their previous negative ways of thinking and acting. Quick Google Facts. Company type, it was a privately held company. Industry, self-improvement seminars. Founded July 20th, 1998. Founder Keith Ranieri and Nancy Salzman. We are going to go through the key players on our next video. Defunct date was September 7th, 2021. The headquarters was in Albany, New York. I will wrap up this short video by just saying that Keith Ranieri's executive success program was a big ripoff from Scientology, Ayn Rand, and Est, which is now Landmark. We will go into greater detail on that in our next video. We will also cover the cast of characters in Nexium. I hope that you enjoyed this short video. Please go to the link 
and read the Times Union article. Thank you so much. Until the next one, peace.